The Tamale South constituency was created in 2004. It shares borders with Tamale Central, Tamale North, Central Gonja, Salga North and the Nanton constituencies. Per its geographical location, the constituency can boast of some senior high schools including Tamale Girls and Britain Senior High School. It also has the Dabokwa Technical Institute. In the area of health, the Tamale Teaching Hospital is situated within this constituency. Since its creation in 2004, it has been a reliable seat for the NDC, with current minority leader Haruna Idrisu as its member of parliament. In the 2016 elections, the NDC had over 50,000 votes for both presidential and parliamentary, while its main contender, the NPP, had less than 20,000 votes. As Ghana prepares for the December general elections, we find out from some constituents their assessment of the development since 2004. The MP Honorable Hanoi has, um, we cannot say he hasn't done um, something in terms of development, but I just believe that um, looking at the number of years he has spent in Parliament, I believe that the constituency hasn't seen the needed development. Um, being a student myself, I believe that the most important development a community can have is actually education. Let's start with the current development because the constituency that was nowhere and where the MP has lifted it to, at least we are content with that because. There used to be communities where there are no lies that had light now. There used to be communities where there are no rules. They have rules now, rules now. In this election, the minority leader will be battling it out with NPP's Yakubu Idrisu, the program's manager at the Ministry of Business and Development and board member for the NBSSI. Does he have what it takes to unseat the incumbent? Politics is about development. And if you are... Uh, given opportunity to become MP, they are expecting of you to bring a lot of development into the area. So if you are there for 16 years, the people will definitely have to mark you against the number of years that you spent as an MP in the area. So if they have seen the kind of development that they have received from you, just opposing that one uh, against what the number of years that you have spent they have a case to make as whether they should retain you or they should reject you. Uh, if you look at our current status, so far as Tamil South is concerned, no one will tell you that we are lacking behind. And that is the reason why the people of Tamil South are calling for a change, not just a simple change, but a change that will bring Yaku Yusuf uh, to become MP for Tamil South. Mr. Yakubu claims the incumbent based on the then chief Tansi dispute in Dabong as his campaign message and that led to his win. But with the current peace in Dabong, it will be difficult for the incumbent to maintain his seat. The Dagumbas, the region and for that matter the Dagumbas have seen so much and have witnessed the generosity and the benevolent spirit of His Excellency Nana Abidan Kwakufabe in some of the things that he has done for the Gumbas. For the first time in the history of Ghana, he brought our 62nd or so anniversary to, to Tamale to consolidate the peace that he has created for us as, well, as the results of performing the finance of the, of the late overlord. We are enjoying absolute peace in Dabang. And you and I, know very well that no one, no politician in this area can get any uh, capital from this again. So it is now issue-based politics campaigning. Give us your results and we'll give you what you, have, you want. And we'll have the results. Planting for food and jobs, free senior high, uh, school feeding. Look, in fact, the poor, poor programs Entrepreneurship development, the, the small loans that we are supporting, is clear, it is glaring everywhere. According to the NDC, the Member of Parliament has embarked on several developmental projects including roads, education, health and sanitation, and all these will inform constituents to vote for them. If you take electricity 
For example, this particular community that we are standing, the Wamale community is a beneficiary community as far as the rural electrification project is concerned. In Tamale South, before Harun Adisu became member of parliament, the MPP connected only three communities onto the national electricity grid. So you can imagine that a constituency that has about 60 communities, the MPP co co connected only three communities, and that is Banvum, Yong, and then Cho communities. The rest of the communities in this particular constituency was connected to the national electricity grid by Honorable Harun Adisu and the NDC government. And so, in tw by 2017 December, we had achieved 100% coverage as far as electricity uh, is concerned. So there is no community in Tamale South as we sit today that doesn't have electricity, no single uh, uh, community. I can count under one minute about eight cheap compounds constructed by the Honorable Harun Adisu through his share of the National Health Insurance Levy. Some of them include the Banvum Chip Compound, the Dungu Chip Compound, the Young Clinic, the Bambaya Chip Compound, the Kot Tangle Chip Compound, which is still under, which is almost, uh, you know, uh, completed because it's just left with painting, and several other chip compounds. So, you should not be surprised that Honorable Harun Adisu uh, in recent times has gained the acolytes, several acolytes. You know, in Tamale here, many people refer to him as Gangju. Other people refer to him as Wundap Farah, simply because he has the people at heart. But the NPP thinks otherwise. Tamale South in 21st century, and in the person of my, my minority leader, being the uh, uh, MP of the area, people still face the problems of getting water, even in the rainy season, to drink. There's water problem everywhere, even granny mills, just recently. One of the communities within Tamale South, not even outside, not far away from Tamale South, one of the peri-urban communities looking for a granny mill to grind their the cereals, to, to mill their cereals for food. So you imagine and ask yourself, why? 16 years in power and the people are still calling for this petty things, granny mill to, to, to mill their cereals, no rules to link to one community to other communities. Sanitation problems everywhere. Some supporters of the NDC and MPP have been speaking to City News. If you are going to compare Honorable Yaqub Yusuf and Honorable Haruna Idrisu, I would say Haruna Idrisu is a paper tiger. He's a toothless dog. He's not doing anything for the good people of Tamale South. He was voted based on the chieftaincy issues, and now that we've buried the chieftaincy issues, I don't think Honorable uh, uh, Haruna will make it again. He will not survive. If you look at the interventions that MPP are bringing on board, it will tell you that there is no any political party in Ghana that is more than MPP, and that is why I am voting MPP. When will it get to our turn? So we are appealing to Tamale South people, I mean the voters, or the, 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 the voters in Tamale South, they should unseat the current MP. He has been there for long. And our Dogombers will say, ne come in you yai. The mirror me. So the, the, the Gombers will say that if water is in a, 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 a jar for a long time, it spoils. So we're looking at that. They should uh, test Honorable Yaqub Yusuf, who is the parliamentary candidate for Tamale South, so that the needed development will come to Tamale South and his people as well. Everybody is proud of Honorable Haruna Idrisu. He is the minority leader in parliament and he is doing very, very good. And we are very, very proud of him. And the constituency will be very, very happy to see him back in parliament. And we will not hesitate to return him in the constituency to carry on the good works that he's been doing for us. We, uh, we want our MP to go back to parliament because he always surprised this, surprises with a visit all the time and he has done a lot in this constituency that you cannot even see everything and we, are, we need him to go back to parliament. Well, the result on December 7th will settle the debate between the two. From the Tamale South constituency, I am Dinah Nguan for City News.